hello, this is a note about downloading and, I mean, purchasing and then downloading uh, S63 encrypted charts from Chart World. And uh, the, let me back up a minute and show you this. This is an article we have online. I'll put this link in the uh, description. And this is the, the important background to this whole process of using S63 charts. And so this, what we're doing now is making one of the, one of the several videos that go in that series. But it's important to read through this to understand the role of the charts and how they work and the, and the process and so forth, the user permits, the permit.txt, and those details. Right now, we're just going to go straight to the purchasing department here and buy some. Um, okay, so when you get here, uh, here's the first thing. You will need an account. The first thing we need to do is set up an account at Chart World and then define an installation. Uh, for in other words, what, what computer and what navigation program are we going to use these charts on? They're all encrypted and tied to unique systems. But there, you don't. When you first go here, I I can't find how you would log in just from this main website. So the so the trick I would do here is, um, let me go here uh, and instead of searching for Chart World, I would search for C H A R Chart World W O R World Login. If you do that search, then that will actually take you to the login page, uh, to the login page. And here is where you can register, uh, get a new, get, a, get a, uh, an account of your own. And it's totally non-invasive. You just give them your, you give them your uh, name and an email, uh, email address and so forth, and you plus register and you send that in, and they will then email back to you a username and password. Then you can go, let's see, do I, can I click that? Yeah, okay, then you're back, then you can, once you have your username and password, you can come back here. Oh, we still have to log in. Well, um, Yes, you still have to log in. I'm sorry. Uh, so we've got to go back to here and then log in. I'm sorry. You get your username and password, then you log in. Now let me pause. Let me pause a minute and look up my credentials. Actually, and I'm gonna log in. Okay, I'm logged in. And once you log in, you'll see a page something like this, except you will not have any installations down here. An installation is just a combination of the, of the computer and the software you're going to use the charts with. So you'll have, you'll, somewhere there'll be a button. It may be more prominent, but somewhere here you'll have to push a button that says New Installation. So you have to define, add a new installation. It's going to explain that here. But... Here's the page that we care about. There's two categories. There's ones with one star and there's ones with two stars. That's explained at the bottom. The one star is mandatory. And if you have only one, if you have only one navigation program and one computer, then you could just say boat, uh, you know, boat PC would be good enough to use here. But if you have multiple ones, you could have like OpenCPN, Expedition, QTVLM. You could be running different programs on the same computer or multiple computers. So you might just put in, like if that's what this is for, you could put OpenCPN uh, uh, Acer Laptop. Now that means I'm going to be using these charts in running in OpenCPN on the Acer laptop. Now, what that means is when I buy these charts, whatever they cost, and I have another program, I have Expedition on my computer too, say, then I'm not able to run those charts in that program. I can only run them in this program. So you have to think through the uh, think through how you're going to use these uh, how how you're going to use these charts. So let's say that goes two places here. Okay, and now then there's two stars. That means there's one one or the other of these, and the one you're going to use here is a is a user permit, as explained in that article that I referenced. The user permit's a 28 character number, and that will be provided by 
the software company that makes your navigation software, 28 character number. And that number you paste in here, and then here, actually that's wrong, okay. Uh, then, uh, then you would put a non-solus vessel, say, and let's see, what else do you need? That's it, purpose of use navigation, say. Okay, that's all it. Now, I can't push that button, yes, because I don't want to make this. Uh, I can, well, it won't make it. It doesn't have a user permit. But that's what you do, and then that will establish the installation that you're using. And at that point, then we can go and then buy the charts. And I think we can just maybe, oh, actually, maybe just go right from here, shop. Yeah. Okay. Because you see, then we will have, we'll have the, we'll have the installation assigned, or, or, or it'll pop up. The installations will then pop up on the bottom of the list. There, you select the installation you want. This is for actually, this is an installation I made for a version of Expedition running on a virtual machine in a Mac. Okay. So that's that. And now here is their graphic chart selector. Uh, we have notes on this in the article, and it looks like I've selected some before. Well, use selection. Let me just delete. Uh, okay. Well, let me start from scratch. Okay, where does it start out here? Oh, okay. So it defaults to Hamburg here, which is where Seven Seas, uh, I mean, uh, well, Chart World and Seven Seas is located. But I want to look at some charts in France near Nantes. Oh, here you go. These. Okay, so let's just say these are the charts I want to buy. I want to buy this one. And when I click here, when I click anywhere on their uh, index, it lists all the, th all the charts of the different scales that are there. Remember the FR stands for France, and then the 5, 4, and 3, these are scale bands of the, of the charts. So I would just take that one, and then that one, that's a bigger one, and then an even bigger one, that's there. Or if I don't want that one, I could take it out. So those are there, and let's just say I want that little guy, you know, down, oh, how do I get here? Okay, just a minute. And then I want this little guy down here. Oh. Oh, okay, there he is. That's this guy, D. Okay, so I've got, those are the three charts I want. And I'm ready to go, I'm logged in. See, you don't know you're logged in, but we know we're logged in. Okay, so then we put those in the basket. And now we're in the basket. Now we come to this interesting part here. These charts you're buying for a certain time period. They're not just for a certain computer and for a certain uh, navigation program, they're also for a certain time period. But that time period does not mean how long they last. You can view the charts forever. But this is just the time period over which you will get uh, free updates if you, if you want to. So for most of our applications for recreational sailing, you might get away with the three, with the three months, depending on how long you're going to be there, you know, and, and so forth. So you could just choose like three months for each of these. And then, um, then I think that's it. I think then you just go and uh, upload. I think we want to go to the shopping cart. Yeah, you go to the shopping cart and then um, check out. That's a shopping cart. I guess you're confirming that. There's a minimum, by the way, of, uh, of a 10 euros. In some places, like in Great Britain, the charts are like nine nine. Nine dollars, nine euros and fifty cents, nine nine point five euros. But you have to buy two because it's ten euros. Okay, check out. Then you go to check out, and then you just buy these in the normal way with a credit card. Okay, after you do that, you will get back in the mail. Let's see. Oh, okay. So we've got one mail from them. Gave us the uh, one mail. Gave us the. Um, the login information. Now, the next mail after the purchase comes back and looks like this. It will be um, it will be an email with a link. Now, depending a little bit on your system, but like a Windows 10 system or a Mac, you can just click this and it will actually open up 
go to this place and do the FTP connection, and then you'll see these two files. These are zipped files. One is going to have some information about the charts and your uh, certification of the charts, and the other is actually going to be the charts. So one of these is going to be notably bigger than the other, 80 well, no, it could be yeah, 80, 90 megabytes, whatever, how many charts you bought. And so you can just drag these two into, an, into a folder. And then they're zipped. They're zipped. Okay, so then when you, then you come here, and this is the folder where I've put them, and this is the names that they have. And then this, these give you zips. Now, uh, okay, and then you unzip them, right? You just, you unzip it. And then, so this folder here, the, this is the charts themselves. And if I open that up, you see sort of familiar stuff, ENC root and the charts are in here and some other information. Uh, inside of this one, there's a key, no, we're going to need that permit.txt to load them into any, anything else. Also, they read me back the user permit that I actually used. And these, of course, are unique, extremely unique to your, your system and computer and so forth. So this is the data. Let, let me make this note. This looks like this is an extension. It says .s63. And this one is .prm. So we don't, I don't have any idea what those mean, those extensions. However, keep in mind, this is the name of a folder. So it really doesn't matter what these are. This could be dot, you could add on, rename it dot grapefruit. It won't matter. It's the name of a folder. When you load these in, it's, the program's going to dive into that folder, whatever it's called, wherever the dots are located, and then it's going to get the stuff it cares about. So that's the end of the process. Now I have this, and see, then at that point, you don't really need the zipped files anymore. They're unzipped. You can get rid of them. You can get rid of them completely. And, and these are the two that you're going to take to your navigation program and load. And we have videos about how to load these charts into various types of navigation programs. So I'm going to stop there.